Uh, today we start talking about lecture uh, five, which is a very short lecture. We give a short introduction to instantaneous velocity of moving frames. I think we know everything about how to compute velocities of a rigid body, and the moving frames is a particular rigid body. And uh, there's some kind of subtleties about this uh, calculation of uh, moving frames velocities. So I will somehow give a, a, a short introduction and point out some kind of a percept per potential part that student may uh, misunderstand the concept. Okay, uh, let me state my goal first. Um, let me just write here, okay? So my goal is the following. So suppose I have a frame trajectory. As a given, a frame trajectory I give a frame trajectory that uh, it's a time dependent frames, right? At any given time, we have an orientation of that frame and also the center of mass location of that frame. Okay, suppose we all, with respect to the inertial frame O, whenever, uh, whenever I didn't mention the index, okay? <clears throat> so graphically, what I have is a frame, initially is here, a T of zero, and it's moving. All right, it's changing over time. It's just a rigid body, right? And at this time it's T1, and next time it's something like T of two. So I gave you an expression of the uh, configuration uh, or homogeneous matrix as a function of T. And the question is that, uh, how can we, or the question I'm going to ask is, Question, what is um, the velocity of frame at time t? Arbitrary time t, I ask you the velocity of this frame. Of course, this is a rigid body, right? And the frame represents a rigid body. Uh, <clears throat> so what I mean by velocity is just the twist or spatial velocity. It's a very simple task. We know twist, we know spatial velocity very well now. So it should be, shouldn't be hard for us to compute it. Um, but there are some kind of subtle things that I want to mention. <clears throat> uh, first of all, let's see. Uh, this T of T is a four by four matrix, right? It's belong to R, four times four is a four by four matrix. And it's in SE3, it has some special structure. It has to satisfy some properties. Um, so if I want to compute the velocity of this thing, the first reaction some student may come up with is the following. You say, let's take we just learned a co uh, exponential coordinate, right? <laughs> Let's take log of t at time t. This will give us a exponential coordinate of this homogeneous transformation matrix. Uh, let's call it S uh, theta, uh, S theta. I'm not sure, uh, Hongbo, you are here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. so. Can you explain the meaning of this S times theta? What does so, this mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. So S is a, a scroll axis, and uh, it, uh, can be, it can be represented by the a unit velocity, like the angular velocity, mm -hmm. and uh, a linear velocity. And uh, theta is the rotation angle of the object uh, along so what's this. What's the physical meaning of this? And how does so it relate to this T? So means uh, an object rotating around this, or moving along this axis with the angle theta, or maybe a linear uh, movement along this uh, axis with a uh, distance theta. Okay. Well, oh, I, it's hard for me to say it's wrong or right. Okay. So 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 you point out a lot of keywords, right? This is a uh, rotation axis. There's some rotation. There's some degree of the rotation. And there's some velocity thing. Okay, all these keywords, 
that's the confusing part. Now the question I'm going to ask is this S or whatever S. This is a twist, right? This is a twist. It's a unit twist or or special velocity representation of a of a screw axis, right? So is this the velocity of t? Maybe I ask uh, for the. the Uh, I think it's it's not the velocity of t. Hongbo, how about you? Fuzhen said no. Uh, no, it's not. It's just uh, some kind of uh, no. direction. Direction of what? Of the current of free motion? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Okay. So, um, so I think, I, yeah, so that's uh, incorrect. I don't think, well, I would say inaccurate. Okay, I would say that. Um, <clears throat> this guy is like a position vector to describe the current configuration of frame T. It has nothing to do with how fast T is moving, all right? I just, I'm just clarifying. I think, I think some students or, or Hongbo even, Hongbo, I think, I think he understood it. But I just want to clarify, this one has nothing to do with the current motion. It's only about the current configuration of T. What does this mean? Is that T at the current time can be obtained by rotate above S by 50 degree. That's the current configuration. And uh, how fast you move at current configuration has nothing to do with this S. Okay, that's the thing that the subtlety I want to point out. Uh, let me give you an example, maybe that's more clear. Uh, trivial example. Uh, let's say I have um, I have a particle moving R R two. Okay, uh, at this particular point, maybe uh, let's assume that this is my velocity, and uh, this is my velocity vector, and uh, this is my partition vector, let's call it P, okay? So this may be this vector, uh, let's use another color to denote velocity. So this red arrow is a vector represent the current position of P. And the blue arrow is another vector. And these two vectors are, I mean, it's completely different from the red vector. You see what I mean, Hongbo? I see, I see. Okay. so. Uh, let me clarify. So in this case, in this case, uh, PT, P at T, is a, let's call it position vector. It's a vector, okay? And uh, this guy, blue one, is P dot. Okay, take the derivative of P, right? This is not, it's a velocity vector, velocity vector. Okay. That's in R2, we can easily compute the velocity. But in SE3, this guy correspond to what? This S and the theta. Uh, this is the exponential coordinate of the current T of T. These two are equivalent. If you tell me the homogeneous matrix, I can tell you the exponential coordinate. And this coordinate, this is, I can still say that is a position type of coordinate. It's tell you where you are, but doesn't tell you how fast you move. I hope that's clear. Okay. And uh, now the question becomes, what about the velocity? Some people may think, okay, if you know, okay, now I know this is screw axis. It's really analogous to this red arrow to denote the position of the point. Or in this case, the orientation, sorry, the configuration of the frame at current time. It doesn't tell you how fast and in what direction you are moving because you could, you could stay there, don't move, or could move in to the right or to the left. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with this S. This S only a position vector. Okay, I hope that's clear. And uh, intuitively, one may tend to say, uh, maybe what about this? Is this the velocity? Is this, this is the velocity? 
of t Fuzhen, do you think so? Uh, I don't think so. But it has related, it has relation with the velocity, right? Is how yeah. fast this is what this is uh, this is another what this is also a four by four matrix right that taking time derivative is just is element of the matrix take derivative with respect to time it's another four by four matrix is this elementary what its component how fast its component is changing it tells you some information about the velocity but it's not in the twist or uh a special velocity form here we are looking for what reasonable because the frame is a reason body we think about it as a reason body we want to look for a twist to represent its velocity and this is only a four by four matrix and how do we find twist from this guy is what we are trying to do we have to go back to physics again okay that's what we're hiding for okay it's not uh, immediate uh, maybe some people some students may say how about how about taking log of this? Does this make sense to you? Well, no, you cannot do it. This guy, t dot, does not even belong to SE3. You don't have an exponential coordinate. Okay, this is a wrong approach. Some people, if you give them uh, directly from this question, they may try to apply different formulas. But but let's go back to physics and you will see how we can derive the uh, actual velocity of the frame. Let's first look at the rotation part. Okay. Again, a frame A is rotating. It's only, let's see, the orientation. Let's only consider this part for now. Forget about this origin. Assume the origin of the frame is always in, in uh, co-located with the original frame and only have the rotation. Uh, motion going on. Okay, so this in this case, suppose this frame A is rotating and with a time dependent orientation R. This represents the orientation of A relative to O, okay? Relative to O frame at time T. Uh, in a more kind of a complete or rigorous notation it will be R A in O, right? At time T is the orientation of O. And it rotating, it keep changing, it has a motion omega A at time T. But this omega A is what we are trying to look for. Okay. It's not the exponential coordinate. For example, if I take matrix log of the rotation matrix, I got its exponential coordinate. Again, this coordinate means RA, the orientation, the current orientation can be obtained from, say, the O frame by rotating about omega hat axis by theta degree. It's, it's a still a position. Let me use my, it's kind of position coordinate. Denote where you are, what's the orientation? Uh, so omega hat theta only describes the current orientation. It does not contain any information about how the frame is rotating and how fast it's rotating at this moment. Okay, so in order to find the how fast it rotates, let's just directly, this, this part is easy. Uh, let's directly from the definition, okay? R A T at any given time is how to represent a frame orientation. It's nothing but uh, x a hat at the t and the y a hat at t and z a hat at t. That's the axis of a vector representing the O frame. Okay, if I want to write everything very clearly, I need to put O little o everywhere, okay? Uh, sometime I may drop it. So the first question is, what is the, uh, if you do this, if you say uh, r, uh, r a dot will be nothing but, take derivative of this, of this right? r a dot is uh, x 
hat dot and uh, y hat y a hat dot and z a hat dot. Okay, I, I drop the O index and also the time index t uh, for simplicity. Uh, the only thing we need to find out is what is each of these physical vectors derived uh, the, the velocity. This is the vector, a vector changing over time, and we want to find this velocity. And by physics, we know x a hat equal to, assume that this rigid body motion has a angle. So everything, if you think about it, this guy, is, this frame is rotated about this omega hat, uh, sorry, omega a is the current, omega a is the current velocity. Okay, rotate, this frame is rotating. This frame is rotating about its axis, and then its vector is omega a at time t cross on this vector itself. Okay, so it's nothing but omega a skew symmetric matrix, use matrix form, this one times this. Similarly, we will have y a hat equal to omega a, still every vector has the same form, and y a, this is dot, sorry, y a hat, and z a hat dot equal to omega a and uh, z a, z a hat, z a hat dot, and you have omega a. Again, this omega a is the current velocity we are looking for. It's different from this omega hat, which is the exponential coordinate, or the screw axis in this case, of this uh, rotation matrices. Okay, if we can combine all of these three uh, equations, we will have, uh, we'll just have R A dot, it's just all of this put together, you will have, and this guy can be factored out, X omega A times R A. Okay, okay, I hope that's clear. Then uh, we can find out omega A relation. If I want to find omega A, that is what? R A times, uh, sorry, R A dot, if you R dot, and then multiply to the right, R A inverse, you will find out this is the case. Any questions? And if I want to be more precise, um, more precisely, more precise, uh, omega a in O is in the uh, inertia frame or the canonical frame that we, as I said, everything with respect, with respect to O frame. This guy equal to uh, R a O dot times R a O inverse. Okay, RAO inverse is also ROA. Okay, that's the first equation we find. Okay, now I'm going to ask you another question. What is uh, omega A in A? Uh, some students, or even including myself, always tend to think about this kind of notation equal to uh, zero is like a frame with respect to a frame doesn't change, so it's zero velocity. Hongbo, what uh, what is this? How do you compute uh, RAA? Is uh, this maybe zero? you need to no no. I think you need to left multiply a ROA to the omega AO. Yes. Okay. Great. R omega a a equal to omega equal to R uh, O a times omega a O. That's the uh, change of coordinate uh, thing for R for R O a, right? Someone did a mute. You have questions? Uh, uh, hold on. Where is it? You can see my screen, right? Hongbo? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, anyway. So this is right. 
what about so so actually the some confusion is this this is not the velocity of a with respect to a okay let me repeat this is the velocity this one means means velocity of a frame relative to the inertia frame the, the velocity is, is how fast the frame A changing with respect to, velocity is always, you have to have a reference frame, right? When you think about velocity, the frame A changing with respect to frame O, okay? There's a velocity, so this is non-zero. And the velocity of A relative to O, but expressed this velocity in A. Okay, the relative motion is still between A and O. It's just when you represent this vector, you choose the body frame, the, the A frame to represent it. Okay, so you can do this, omega A O, because that's the velocity of A, same thing, but expressing O and times the change of coordinate. Okay, <clears throat> if A is changing, this change of coordinate function or this rotation matrix also is time dependent, but that's fine but this formula still works, right? So this one becomes ROA. Um, if you, uh, how do I do this? Okay, so this implies, this implies omega A, A, the skew symmetric one, equal to ROA, omega A, O, right? And if you remember the, the um, the properties of this uh, skew trigonometric matrix and also rotation matrix is this one equal to uh, if you put the skew symmetric after you're taking a uh, multiplying a, a rotation matrix then you you can do this this is r o a times r a o times r o a inverse or transpose r o a transpose let's say that okay so that become r o a times this guy is, we plug in the previous formula, it is RAO dot times RAO inverse and times ROA uh, inverse, which is R, we, okay, let's put that again. So R inverse times ROA transpose, which is RAO. So R, they can cancel again, they got canceled out again. So you have uh, R O A times R O A O dot, or uh, let's write it in a more symmetric form. It is R A O inverse. Okay. Uh, R A O dot. So let me summarize that. So omega A, the velocity. In A, sometimes we use that. This is like a body uh, velocity. Some the, in modern body, this is called <laughs> body velocity. So it is uh, RAO inverse times RAO dot. Any questions? All right, that's the for rotation part, and for uh, the actual moving frame that including the orientation also the central mass trajectory everything is similar um, for example if a is moving with configuration t that's our original setup right let's say a frame is changing over time and undergoes the body motion uh, suppose this is its velocity note everything is yeah with respect to o frame so in precisely we should have this one is exactly, it's precisely what I uh, really actually mean. Again, exponential coordinate of this only indicates the current configuration of A. So these screw axes actually change over time. Theta also change over time as well, right? So your orientation, your configuration keep changing over time. And each of this time, it has a coordinate. Okay, that coordinate represents by the screw axis uh, by taking the log, uh, matrix log uh, of this TA. But this coordinate doesn't tell you how fast you move and we should uh, we should derive how fast it moves. In this case, um, 
it's exactly the same. We can do physics, but but I want to go into a little bit more detail so that you guys know uh, exactly what's going on. Uh, let's say a frame. Let's not use capital A. So a frame can be determined by homogeneous transfer matrix, right? Determined by the the direction vector vector of the axis. Of course, it's just this x one, uh, x y, and z. Also, uh, also the center of the and also the end, the origin. Okay, p. Let's call that p. So uh, this direction vector of axes, those are free vectors. This is x a hat y a hat z a hat. Okay, and the origin this one is actually a point, right? So <clears throat> it is a point. Uh, let's call that p a, right? So this free vectors, this homogeneous coordinate is x. Let's let's just say tilde a equal to x a hat and zero. Okay, the homogeneous coordinate of a free vector is, is the second thing is zero, and the homogeneous coordinate of a point, uh, it is this p a tilde is p a one. Okay, so that's why. T A is nothing but X uh, A tutor, Y A tutor, Z A tutor, and P A tutor. If you follow the homogeneous coordinate convention, the matrix constructed by the homogeneous coordinate of these four things. I hope that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> now my question is: so I, we're going to show you. I'm going to show you that T A dot, which is Actually, x a tutor dot, right? The, the all the dot, right? This one is equal to a twist skew metric, not a matrix representation of twist times T A itself. That's what we're going to show, right? We want to show. In particular, this V A skew metric is. If you think about this, uh, let's call it VA is uh, um, let's give more notation. Let's say VA is uh, omega and uh, V of zero, V of origin. Uh, this sub index is the velocity of a frame. Okay. And this VO is the reference point to represent the velocity of A. Okay, because everything was respect to with uh, are are in are with respect to the the O frame. So that's we need to use the uh, the origin of the O frame as the reference point. Okay, I hope that's uh, okay. Now um, I'm going to show first one. Let's we need to show. Okay, this guy. Let's the first step. Uh, the first one is x a tutor dot equal to x a let's say hat dot zero right. <clears throat> what is x a hat dot? If you uh, by physics you know this one. Uh, for example, let me skip this part. Let's say just x a hat dot is this omega a uh let's let's use this omega now okay have too many indices this omega is just the velocity the instantaneous velocity of the frame okay so it's omega cross uh x a hat Hong, does this make sense to you Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 
Uh, I think it should be a square omega. Say that again. Should be what? Uh, it should be the square. You know. Uh, yeah, of omega. course. This is square of omega, of course. This this cross, right? That means square mm -hmm. omega. This guy. This makes sense to you? Then I don't need to explain. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. For 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 then that makes sense to you. Uh, yes, it makes sense to me. Um, if it makes sense, then can you prove it? Uh, we just use it in the rotation matrix. Uh, to. But now we have a twist, right? We have a it's about twist. You think about this guy has a velocity, right? Twist. Um, how do you prove by basic definition? Suppose uh, this is my O frame. This is my, uh, let's see, this is my O frame. That's already the, the stationary frame. Uh, there's a fun frame that is moving, right? This is changing time. This is my uh, A frame, okay? And a, my A frame has a origin of A, OA. And also have a uh, directional vectors of its axis. This guy is x a hat, right? <clears throat> so a definition of twist. So far we have we have learned definition of twist. Um, let me just argue that may, for many people this is trivial, but but for something is trivial or take it for granted, it's really important for you to connect to the to the concept so that everything start to make sense all the, all together. Uh, Let's uh, prove it. Let's say x a hat is a vector, right? It's a vector. Uh, we only know twist is a parameterization of the rigid body, whole body motion. So given twist, any body fixed point velocity, we know how to compute them, right? That's how we derived it before. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, let's say this is, but this guy is a vector. It's not a body fixed point. Let's, the, but the vector is, this is, is OA. Let's call this guy, this is a point. Suppose there are two points, right? One is a point OA, the other one is PX, a point X, right? So that's uh, along the uh, XA uh, direction and the unit distance away from OA. There's a point, physical point. So there's two points. If you represent these two points in O, that's the vector you need to consider. So that's O P X, that's my vector. And by in coordinate systems or in let's say in O frame, this is nothing but uh, from O A point to that it's P X minus O A. For them, do you agree on this? Uh, yes, I agree. Okay x a hat, then it becomes p x dot minus o a dot. Okay. And now I'm going to ask you, Fujin, based on the definition, let's directly go to go back to definition. Based on definition of twist, what is p x dot? p x now is a body fixed point attached to OA, and then this OA has a velocity, uh, this, right? So what is PX? Uh, it's V. Dot. V zero. of zero, right? Plus yeah. omega cross O, this O, right? This O to PX. Any body fixed point has the same representation or parameterization, if you remember, right? For the this is okay. Uh, ah. <laughs> Any body fixed point, I don't care what body fixed point we have. If you give me a twist, there's always this VO plus omega cross from the reference O to the current point vector. I think that should be clear, okay? Uh, <clears throat> another one is OA. What is OA dot, Hongbo? Uh, I think OA dot is... Uh, is VO? Yeah, it's VO. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
OA is a body fixed point currently attached to A frame. A frame has a velocity twist represented this. What is this meaning, by the way? Hongba, you repeat that, that definition again and think about it. What is VO? Okay. So... The velocity, the velocity of O here, okay? The velocity of a body fixed point currently coincides with O, but not the current coincides with OA, right? This is a body, this is a reference frame. This VO is not the velocity of OA, it's the velocity of a body fixed point currently coincides with the origin of our frame to represent this uh, everything. So that's it's O, right? So this one is still a body fixed point. Let's say VO, any body fixed point. This OA is also body fixed point uh, from O to OA. That's why I want to prove it because something you take from granted may you may not have understood every single steps. Uh, <clears throat> if you do this, you have uh, O V O cross V O cross. You oh, sorry, this is omega. Sorry, omega cross this right. So you have omega cross O P X minus O A O to O A. So this two vector, right? Which is again X A hat because it becomes OA point to PX, which is XA hat. So eventually we proved by definition only above the twist, we proved XA hat dot equal to omega cross XA hat. This is trivial for the rotation part, but for the twist part, I don't know. You Well, we didn't mention that, right? We, we only know uh, for twist part, there's some kind of linear velocity component involved. You don't know whether that will somehow <clears throat> appear in the, in the expression. So we prove that it doesn't matter. We only consider any free vector in this case, it still need to multiply by a cross, cross product by this uh, omega. Okay, and similarly, we will have ya hat dot omega cross x uh, ya hat, things like that. Okay, dot dot dot. Uh, the only difference and z a hat dot equal to omega cross z a hat. That's fine. Uh, the next one is the point, right? So we need to know <clears throat> uh, this is p a. Uh, let's call that. Sorry, not p a. Let's call we call that o a, right? I think my notation is a little bit here. I say this. Uh, uh, let me change that. Sorry, guys. So this is OA, now I have OA, that's origin of A. Let's say this is OA tilde, and this is my OA tilde. Okay, so now it remains for us to determine this OA tilde dot. And this is different. So this becomes OA dot and zero. Why is it different? Because this OA is not a free vector, it's, 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 it's itself, it's a point, okay? So <clears throat> then I have, again, OA is a body fixed point. So its velocity can be expressed from the twist by the formula VO plus omega cross OA. O to OA is, becomes OA right o to oa becomes OA. so that's this case and this part is zero so if you want to write a matrix form that is uh hold on that is oa this is one this guy is omega square skew symmetric matrix because cross is skew symmetric matrix and this is vo and zero zero and this guy is my uh skew symmetric matrix of sorry I keep saying that this is a matrix representation of the twist. Remember, my twist have a special uh, omega and the VO has special meaning here in my derivation. It's meaning the the angular and the linear velocity component of twist VA. Okay. Okay. So that's more clear. Sorry. This is the matrix representation of that. Uh, <clears throat> so this column satisfies this. Of course, this guy also satisfies. 
right? That means x a cuta dot equals also to x omega uh, v o zero zero times x tilde, which is x a hat zero, because x a tilde is x a hat zero. So whatever we put in here doesn't matter. So overall, we will have T A dot equal to uh, the matrix representation of twist A cross T A, or the matrix representation of the twist equal to T A dot times T A inverse. Okay, uh, I'm not going to derive that again. So I'm going to conclude again. Similarly, if I want to represent twist in A frame again, the skew symmetric one is T A inverse times T A dot. Any questions? This part is okay. Uh, Fuzhen, does this make sense to you now? Uh, yes, I understand now. Okay. Again, this guy VO is not the velocity of the origin of the frame of the, the body. This is frame is a body here, okay? It's the velocity of a body fixed point that fixed or attached to this frame, A, and currently coincides with the origin of the reference frame, which is O. So any body fixed points would satisfy this. Okay, I hope that's clear.